So we are going to have a sneak peek with uh, the abilities, with how the tavern is going to be played, how we are going to use him with witch runes and everything, but let's start right away with the champion himself. We got the Dauntless Instinct. Because other damaging abilities mark the enemies for a short duration. Attacking a marked enemy consumes the mark and deal damage plus maxial physical damage. All out. Attacking a marked enemy instead deals physical damage and additional max heals through damage. What that means? All out. Oh, I think that the all out thing here is that uh, the blades going from the tan ones to the offensive ones. I think it's going to be like that. So you're going to do bonus damage while being all out, or you're going to do either way bonus damage while being the tank. Either way, you're going to deal damage, so it's okay. Because I'm going to hear my name and know my strength. So the moment you are going all out, you're going to just say that. That's going to be a bit. So I'm really curious to see if this skill overall, the passive, is going to have add ratios. We can see the plus max health physical damage here, right? So I'm really curious if this skill here is going to have add ratio or HP ratio. If it got add ratio, that means that we can play him as an add immortal or overall a full add champion and do a huge amount of damage. But if it got HP, then you're going to just play him as immortal and still work. But I'm curious if it's going to be just flat number. If it's just flat number, it's not going to be that, that big of a deal. Of course, the passive alone, guys, is doing max health physical damage. So we already can see that this is going to be a monster of a champion. And from the design that we saw earlier, this champion is definitely going to be <laughs> the threat on the enemy team. One against five, guys. I can already see that. Okay, let's see the Q right now. The Q is going to be the Tofu Strikes. Kazadin slams his weapons, dealing physical damage in the span area around him, really slowing the target, the target hit. If an enemy is hit, Kazadin gains a stack for a short duration at two stacks, and then instead of fires a shock wave and pulls enemies, and all out, all out is the, the form, I guess. So like a rel. This ability could only reduce the, and no longer slow. Okay, let's see. So if you hit them, you are going to slow them, right? And if you hit them again, you're going to knock them towards you. Check this out. If you hit them the second time, you're not, you're going to stun them as well. What? What? Slowing the target. So okay, it's already broken. And if you have two stacks, you're going to just throw them and CC them towards you. Imagine this under tower. So they are attacking you. And the moment they attack you, you press Q and pull both of them towards your under tower. What will happen? We can already see the double kills to just go crazy here. Oh my God, the Q is already broken. You don't even need this to be max level. Just one level and it's going to be enough. Anyone can wield a weapon. Warriors makes their own. <laughs> I really love this uh, quote here. It's it's insane. Okay, let's see the W. Pathmaker. So begin charging. Kasadi raised his weapons defending for a short duration, becoming unstoppable. Oh my god, reducing incoming damage. Oh my god. Release. Kasadi runs forward, dealing percent of max HP. Max heal damage. With the passive? Max heal damage with the W. Already two skills. And it's the passive, first it's the passive, that is doing physical damage, max HP physical damage, knocking back, stunning the enemies he passed through for a short duration based on charge time. All out, this ability cooldown is refreshed. What? The damage taking reduction is increased. It deals an additional amount of physical damage based on the charge time. And the charge and dash speed are doubled. What? So we got CC and pull back with the Q. A pull back and CC with the W. And the all out. Oh, yeah, there it is. Take the, the weapons here. You can see that. This is going to be the tank weapons and the all out with the blades. 
is going to be behind him. Does everyone know his red second? He's increased. This is, a, this is an amount of... Oh, the one is pulling him back and the other is dashing behind him. That's so, so strange, guys. So are we going to be... What are we going to be? We are going to be the strongest immortal. I think that this summon is like set, but this is going to be like set on steroids. That's what I can see. This summon is going to be the most broken thing ever. So finally, we got a tank top lane summon, finally. And this is going to be this powerful. We, we are just on the W. Let's see the... The footwork. That's how the dust is getting a seal for a door. <laughs> a seal as well. So max HP, damage. We got CC. We got more CC, and right now we got the shield. Perfect. Dashing for a short duration. If dashing to an ally, the distance is very increased, and they also shield it. Other spells can be cast during this ability. Because why not? All out. This ability does speed is increased. Dashing to target location has increased brains and can go over the walls. My god. Take this out. You can go over the wall either way, even with a not all out form. So you are going to give a seal to yourself and a seal to your ally. And you can also go over walls as long as you are in the all out form. If you are not in the all, uh, all out uh, weapons form, you need an ally to go over the wall. But overall, what we are going to just keep here is that we got a seal. We got damage. We got to see. We got a seal. This is the, defini the definition of all immortal champions. If you got all this till now without even calculating anything else, you are an immortal, guys. You are just the strongest immortal. We don't have to be friends, but we do have to fight together. That's what Cassandra said. Said, I'm, I'm with him here. I'm with him. Okay. Let's see the R. Oh, the all out is. The ultimate. I thought that it was a form that you're going to get uh, after fighting, but it's the ultimate. So, Cassandra shatters his stone fast, dealing physical damage and knocking back an enemy summon. Enemies that hit that wall will instead take a great amount of physical damage, are knocked back over the wall and are briefly stunned. Cassandra Northern does after the enemy and does and goes all out for an extended duration. If I remember right, this is more than 10 seconds. The duration here is more than 10 seconds. All out. Because then lose the percent. Oh, wait. Because then lose a percentage of max health. That's going to be bad. Bonus armor, bonus magic resist. Oh, my. And because then gains attack damage. Omnivamp. And transforms his abilities. So. After using your ultimate, you are going to the all-out form. Okay, we are going to lose some um, defensive stats, defensive stats, but you are going to get Omnivamp, attack damage, and you are going to have all the abilities that we said before. Mm, that sounds pretty broken. Pretty broken. We can't see the radius here. But I can already imagine that this is going to be insane. This is literally going to be one of the most insane summons that we ever saw. Check out. You are going over the wall. So you can target one champion. Except if you can pull everybody. Imagine to pull five uh, people with you. But I think it's going to be only one. So you're going to pull one that's going to be at least 1000 reigns from what I can see. And then start fighting him with the all-out abilities. Actually, the health is uh, pretty huge. Check the number. It's around 20% of the max HP. Oh my, that's actually pretty huge. But from what I can see, you don't even need to press your R. Why to press the R? From the looks of it, you can literally just stay without the all-out all out form. You're going to just have the physical max HP damage. You are going to have the knock-up. There you go, the knock-up. You don't even need the all-out. The all-out is just that this ability cooldown is going to be reduced, so we don't care. The W is going to be the shield either way and the... Oh, no. The W is going to be the path maker, so you're going to just... Throw the target behind, even better, 
Why do you care? And become unstoppable as well, guys. We are going to be unstoppable, take less damage, and knock, up, uh, knock back the stamina and stunning them at the same time. So we don't really need the all-out form. We don't need it. We are okay. Why to lose a why to lose armor, magic resist? And over why to lose everything? We don't care about the ultimate. We are going to just fight. We are going to fight, right? We're going to fight without using our ultimate. And no one is going to stop you. Because this is broken as hell. What? What and who is going to stop you guys? Tell me, I'm curious. I'm curious. What do you think about Cassandra? Do you think that this monster here? Is going to be beaten by any champion. Because right now we got CC. We got a shield. We got knockups. We got dashes. Dashes that is also going to give shields. Because why not? Why do not have a listen W and also do have a CC? So not only we are going to have uh, the. Wait. Duration and line. Yeah. We are going to have the shield and dash, though. No? We are not going to have the knockup. But we got the knockup with the W and the knockup with the Q. So you got to see, you got the max HP, you got the armor, you got magic resist, you got uh, defensive stuff. So overall, you're going to be a tank here. You're going to be the ultimate tank. You're going to be a top laner, one v five top laner, and you're going to have these these weapons here. You're going to have these awesome weapons. The whatever this is is looking like a, a rock or the blade. Either way, we don't care about. The all out form. We care about this. And also, he's turning into Super Saiyan or something because the hair going a little bit uh, up, but doesn't matter. The ability, the abilities looking so, so crazy. I can't wait to play him. Can't wait. And from what we saw from the gameplay, this monster is going to just destroy all. Take this out, guys. Take this out. I will wait for you to be better. You can already see what's going on here. Check it out. CC, knockup, insane no, damage, coming in even damage here. And that's the death. Oh, Nazuma! Oh my god. Oh my god, did you see the range of the R? Of course, the damage is separate. It's the damage is separate. Oh. After Nazuma. using the R, so you got the shield, and the moment you press the R, we are losing 25% of our HP, at least. It might be 33% or 40%, 40% probably. 40% of the HP. Of course, we are getting Omnivamp, so I guess you are losing. 40% of the HP, yeah, for sure it's going to be a great deal. But you got Omnivamp and you got extra damage, so you're going to have the healing. And from what you can already understand, the build of And becoming unstoppable, that's what I said before. Check it out. Check it out. And just pulling them here and have fun under tower, guys. Have fun under tower. Yeah. I think that this summon is going to be a little bit too powerful. He's not going to be able to be stopped because you got the unstoppable form, you got the CC, you got the reduced damage. And even if you don't want to press the R, you are going to still take the duration of the R, but did you see the R there? Oh my god, did you see that? Oh my god, take the range! Did you see the reins? Oh yeah, I totally forgot. You don't have, you don't have a limit on the wall. So if you hit the champion on the longest wall possible, you're going to go all on the all other way around. That's like Bart C. You're going to go to the other way around together with the champion. So imagine to fight in the Baron pit on the right, uh, on the on the left corner and then continue fighting almost in the mid lane. <laughs> oh my god. That's to destroy everybody. The thing that we are becoming unstoppable is so broken. Did you see? He does the ultimate from uh, from set, but imagine you are playing against Mordekaiser. 
and he wanted to press the, the R. And from what you saw, the timing is not going to be that hard to get. Because you can just press it and have the, the duration for... You have the unstoppable duration for a lot of... We're finished here! So yeah, I think... Does the the those who wish and dead. Does the shield? This is literally the most broken summon ever. This is going to be the the king of all immortals. This 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 here, Cassandra guys is going to be the king of all immortal summons. I want to play against him with our mon. Keep wishing and see. If we can actually win. I'm so, so curious, guys. I'm so curious. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. What do you think about the new champion? Do you think that he is going to be broken as hell? We saw the abilities. We read them. Got max HP. We got CC. We got knock ups. We got an ultimate that's going to take the enemy champion and take him to a trip to the other dimension. So it's going to be even worse than Mordekaiser R. Actually, it's going to be set on steroids. That's pretty much it. Kasande is set 2.0. 2.0 set. Perfect. And we got everything. What do you think about this champion? Do you think that he's going to be broken? Do you think that he's going to be weak and he just looks a little bit over broken? But we already know that Riot is creating champions to be as broken as possible. That's why Bell, the moment she released, literally destroyed the entire game. So I can't wait to see this champion. I want for you to tell me what do you think as well. And also if you like what you saw, don't forget to like the video. And don't forget also to check out our latest League Masterclass with your answers from the Ultimate Quizzes. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.